Hi, I'm Dave, and this is the one and only RPG Rundown. As a D&D player, when your DM asks you what you're doing during downtime, do you often find that you're at a loss for ideas? Or do you find it overwhelming to create a rich background for your character, say including parents, siblings, and other connections you might have? Or as a DM, do you find you and your players struggling with things like this? If so, then this new Kickstarter from Cubicle 7 for a supplement called A Life Well Lived may be just what you're looking for, and it's what we'll talk about in today's video. So let's talk about A Life Well Lived. It's a supplement for Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition, and it aims to fill in the gaps of what often seem like mere crunchy numbers and stats in D&D. Sometimes with the core D&D rules, it's hard to get inspiration to go beyond the so-called murder-hobo style of play. Sure, it's often said that this leaves the players and DM free to fill it in however they want, but without resources to structure as well as to inspire ideas, that's a lot of work to ask of a player. A Life Well Lived aims to provide that structure and those inspirations for ideas. It covers what your character gets up to before, between, and even after your adventures. It's also a companion of sorts to Cubicle 7's Uncharted Journeys, which provides richer and more detailed travel rules and structures to 5e. The main features of A Life Well Lived are life paths, downtime, camp craft, patrons, and retirement. For all of these areas, there are little rules tie-ins that give you in-game benefits for fleshing these things out. Now, D&D does have the concept of backgrounds, but they mostly just provide you with abilities and equipment. For example, if you choose the entertainer background, you get a musical instrument, a favor from an admirer, and a costume. But what is the costume? Who's the admirer and what favor did they give you? What musical instrument did you take and why does your character play that particular instrument? Life Paths promise to provide the answers to all those why questions and make it easier to know the story behind, say, your paladin's choice of that nose flute. From the way it's described, the Life Path feature reminds me of games like Harnmaster with tables full of ideas and suggestions for every facet of your backstory. But what happens between adventures? What does your character get up to when they visit their home? Downtime activities help flesh that out, allowing you to tend to a business, prepare for challenges, or settle old scores. During rests or periods of waiting at camp, what do your characters do? That's what campcraft activities are for. You can also have a patron, some powerful or resourced ally who sends you on your missions and adventures. This isn't always a boon though because your patron has enemies and those enemies might come for you. What happens to the story of a character when the adventuring seems over? Maybe you settle down, have some children, your own farm. But it's possible trouble finds you again and like an old cowboy fate compels you to ride out one last time. And again, all of these features come in tables of ideas and inspiration, which as an option can even be rolled randomly. These options and activities often have in-game effects. For example, if you've been dealing with a lot of snowy, difficult terrain, then when you sit around the campsite, you might use those cobbler's tools to fashion snowshoes you can strap on and eliminate the movement penalty. Or you might write notes in your journal, which give you an advantage on history tests later related to your adventures. A Life Well Lived promises to provide structure and rules connections for all these aspects of the experience, making a fully fleshed out character and the story of that character's life something in reach for all players and something integral and vital to the game. So it's no longer just the extremely creative players who do this work for a kind of extra credit or their personal satisfaction, but it becomes core to the game and the story that the game tells. Is this supplement for you? I think if you really like a narrativist and character-driven style of play, but you also like to have some structure to make that more of a core part of the game, this might just be something you really want. I have to admit that I liked what I read in the free preview and I wound up pledging to the Kickstarter myself because this is right up my alley as a DM with the style that I run. If you're interested in backing it, check out the link in the description below. And let me know what you think of the ideas in A Life Well Lived by leaving a comment. And as always, we greatly appreciate your likes and subscribes. I'm Dave, and until next time, may all your 20s be natural.